What's up YouTube, DCRC here. I'm gonna be teaching you guys some simple or, or beginner fingerboard beginner tricks. Um, I'll probably be doing the Ollie pop shove it, maybe 360 pop shove it, and maybe kickflip. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the Ollie. So, to do Ollie on a fingerboard um, is not a hard trick once you get the hang of it. Um, I have to say it's probably easier to start out with three fingers than two. After you get three fingers down, it's pretty easy with two. Um, so yeah, start off with three fingers, and now I'll show you the technique. So the technique you want to use really when you get started with, um, is to roll backwards, and then you're going to lift up the tail. Um, if you roll backward fast enough, and you lift up the tail, you'll kind of do this. You kind of lighten up your fingers, just make them kind of a little bit airborne. The pressure from the momentum of the board will go against your fingers, and you'll pull up and over. So it'll be like that. So yeah, it'll just do that pretty naturally. So once you get that down, you start moving on to two fingers, and then you start doing the same thing. And then for some people, this is very simple. And easy to get the hang of. For some people, it's very hard and takes a, maybe a day or so to get the hang of, but it's not going to take you very long. Um, so after you get that method, you'll learn. You'll go on to the to the rolling forward kind of method, so you can roll up to things and then do tricks on those things. Um, so this method, it uh, you really need to get down that first method first, um, so you can jump on to the second method. Uh, so you're gonna need just to really loosen up your hand like you can't have your hand like I don't know what you'd call it I can't like not tight but I kinda explain it while I go on so what you'll need to do is pop up or pop your tail down and then since whatever board you have like if it's a better quality board the pops probably gonna be better so yeah the, the pops gonna go down and the boards gonna wanna go up you're going to use your front finger to slide forward and level out the board and then land. So it'll be like that. And then after you get that down, you'll do it with two fingers. And so I went, what I meant by loosening up your hand is you can't, it's like some people do this where they go like that and they just can't do it. Um, you have to do it pretty quick. And so, yeah, so, so you get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, again, I would recommend starting off doing that method where you go backwards and forwards and then start doing two fingers backwards and forwards and then start doing three fingers just forwards and three fingers forwards. So yeah, again with two methods you're for the for the first one, you start going backwards, pop down your tail, lift up your fingers a little bit, the board's gonna press against your fingers, then you'll lift forwards and kinda up a little bit and then push down. Another easy way to get the hang of the ollie is if you use your arm, you can kind of do that same motion and get the hang of it. You just roll down your arm, lift it up, and bring it back to the top of your arm. And you can use your leg or whatever you want. Like if you're going to school or whatever, you do that on, on the bus on the way to school. And so, yeah, it's really easy. You can do it all the time in the car rides or whatever. So, yeah, just keep on doing that so you get the motion and then start doing this on a table. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the pop shove it. So the pop shove it is, I have to say it's probably easier than the ollie. Um, unless you start off with the ollie and you, you just got the ollie really naturally. Um, for some people I know cannot do the pop shove it, but they can do the ollie very good. Um, for me, pop shove it was easier. Uh, so yeah. Um, so for the pop shove it, pretty you're not really going to need your index finger almost at all. Um, pop shove it is going to be harder with three fingers. For me personally, it might be easier for you. Um, I would recommend trying two fingers first and then trying three fingers. If three fingers works best for you, good for that. I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, try three fingers, I guess, and try two fingers and just do both and both. So, technique for the pop shove it. You're gonna uh, for almost all tricks. You're gonna pop down your tail, and you're gonna just kind of swoop. So you're just gonna do that in one motion, 
And so, again, just like the ollie, the board, when the board hits the ground, it's going to want to pop up. So, when it hits the ground, it's going to want to pop up, and then you slide, and then it rotates. So, like that. And so, once you get that down, or yeah, you basically do not use your front finger almost at all. Like, really the only reason you use your front finger, maybe, for, or I, the only reason I use my front finger is to keep it from rolling around, like before and after I do the trick, and um, to capture it, to get it down. So like this is the, your back finger is your kicking finger, and then your, it feels like your front finger is kind of the one that makes it stop in midair, and then you do that. So yeah, so that's that trick. And that's a pretty simple trick to get used to. Alright, so the 360 pop shot is the same exact thing, it's just that you swoop faster, you kind of slide your finger towards you faster. So, you just slide your finger towards fast you, faster to you, and you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Alright, now we're going to move on to the kickflip. Um, so, I would recommend definitely mastering all those other tricks before you move on to the kickflip. Kickflip is one of the hardest tricks, or the hardest beginner trick. Um... Well, for this trick, you're going to have to master two finger ollies. Like, basically, you it definitely helps to roll forward. You can do it rolling backwards, but it's just a little bit harder. But I've not yet landed this trick three fingers. I've tried it many, many times. I just can't do it. So, yeah, master two fingers first, um, but ollies before you go on to the kickflip. And, uh, yeah, so, so for the kickflip... Your finger placement, or yeah, for the ollie and pop shove, your finger placements are just going to be like that. It's pretty simple. Um, your finger's going to be, the front finger's going to be right below the front bolts. Yeah, right there, kind of under the front bolts. And then this back finger's just going to be right there on the tail. Okay, flip. Um, it's going to be basically the same, except, well, for, actually, I take that back for the ollie. I do this, I put my front, front finger kind of all the way forward or across the board, 100% across the board. For a kickflip, I put my finger like this. Because um, when you ollie, your front finger naturally kind of wants to slide uh, up a little bit when you move it up because your finger bends. So it'll kind of naturally do that. So that's why I hold it over there and then it naturally bends and goes to the middle of the board. When I do a kickflip, I hold my nail of my finger in the middle of the board. So when I bend up, it naturally flicks it this way. So with the kickflip, you're going to want to pop the tail down like you're doing at Ollie. Lay your finger right in the middle. So you just do the same exact motion as an Ollie, except for you just flick. You just put your mid your finger in the middle of the board. You're just going to flick naturally like an Ollie, and the board's going to rotate. So I'll try to do this. I'm probably not going to do it first try. There, second try. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it's the same exact motion. Really... If you feel like you're just not getting the kickflip at all, um, it's probably because of your finger placement. Try moving your finger around for. May, I have pretty small hands. I'm only 13 years old, so I have pretty small hands. If you're a grown up, I'm sure your finger placement will be a little bit different. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, so yeah, just try kind of moving your front finger around just a little bit until you find that sweet spot. So again, yeah, for this finger placement, my. Th this finger right here, uh, my finger's right over the front bolts, and this is where I keep my finger. So, right under the front bolts, my nail is, like, with the front bolts, so, right in the middle of the board. So, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, once you master the ollie, you should be able to do the kickflip relatively easily. Um, it might take you a little bit. It took me not too long after I got a good board with... Sorry, with a, with a tech deck, I can never do it at all. I still have never done it. And with, uh, let's say, a broken knuckle fingerboard, this is my fingerboard before my flat face. Um, I did it, I don't know, my first top five tries doing it. Um, and so, yeah, you just have to figure out your finger placement. And the wider the board is, I feel like maybe the easier it is. Um, but maybe not for some of you, maybe it's easier with the tech deck. But I found out with the tech deck, you have to get your finger placement so perfect. And with the larger boards, this is a 32 millimeter board, uh, flat face G14. Um, your finger placement can kind of wiggle 
a little bit. So if you land a trick or something off a grind rail or I don't know, whatever you want, and you kind of land with your front finger a little bit off your point, you can still kind of do your kickflip. And if you're having a problem over rotating your kickflips, just try it to get your reaction time maybe a little faster or just um, make your hand just slap down the board before it hits the ground. So if you're over rotating and it's about to over rotate, just uh, slam your finger, your hand down before it hits the ground. Don't rely on the board just perfectly rotating, hitting the ground, and then putting your hand down. So there's some quick tips. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped some of you guys, beginners, to learn some tricks. May helped you guys that knew some tricks, learn the kickflip and pop shove it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.